Hi, I'm Dr. Melanie Feld from Artist Skin MD in San Diego, California, and we have Restylane and Silk. So I wanted to share with you all how we actually inject the product. So we're gonna actually focus in on this patient's what we call perioral area, or this area around the mouth. Restylane Silk is just a smaller particle version of Restylane, and so it's really helpful in just finessing and rebuilding the area around the lips. And we'll do a little bit to just line the border and actually help with some of the fine uh, lines in the lip itself. So we're going to stay focused on here. You'll hear me, but you won't necessarily see me. And we're going to work on this side of the lip. So I think the trick with Restylane Silk is you have to use extremely, extremely small amounts of it. And I'm going to have you turn just a little bit that way. And we all start to lose a little bit of volume right in here over time. So I'm going to inject into just we'll poke pretty superficially. And I'm just putting a very small amount actually above the lip itself to give some buttress to that area. So I'm just putting just minuscule drops in this area. And that's going to give structure over the ensuing weeks to months. A little poke again. And it's going to help eliminate these little fine lines over time. Now you can also use this with a cannula technique, which I often do, which is a little blunt shaped tube. Um, and that helps with ease of injection and definitely decreases the side effects that's experienced along with this product. I'm going to put a little drop here. One, two, three. And then I actually want to fill a little bit into the lip itself. And so, you know, right now I haven't even used um, 1 20th of this injectable to fill what we've worked on so far. So right now I'm going to work just on the lip border, what we call the vermilion border. And if you're right in that pretty potential space, as I depress the plunger, it just sort of flows across that potential space. It's actually heading all the way towards the midline of the, the lip. You can see it start to be outlined. And it's actually reached all the way across here. And so it just, you can see that perked up that little lip margin. And then I'm going to go halfway between what we call the vermilion border and what we call the wet border, where the wet part of your lip starts to start. And I want to deposit just a small amount in here, and poke, in what we call the submucosal space. And I'm letting it just spread on its own. You can actually see my needle causing pressure on the area itself. And it's just acting almost as like a little paintbrush depositing a small amount over that entire area. And this is really how that meant this product is meant to be used, is really to just fill a potential space in this area and smooth over. It's really not a bulking agent, um, so it shouldn't be used exclusively kind of as a lip filler. Um, for the corner of the mouth, you can use it a little bit for support, but sometimes we use it in conjunction with other sturdier fillers to give a little bit of support, but we can put a little bit just right there at the corner of the mouth. And then we're going to continue on below the lip. So a little poke again. I'm going to give some support underneath. Just really small, small amounts. I think, you know, small amounts and slow injection pressure is really what helps this area. And then we're going to get into that potential space and help the little border of the lip. And again, it's starting to spread across that potential space. And this isn't one that really needs a ton of massage, um, which is sort of nice little poke. But if you're in the right plane, it just kind of coaxes along. Good, and then part your lips for me just a little bit. And turn back that way. And again, I want to put a little bit between that vermilion border and the wet dry border, so a little poke here into what's called the submucosal space. And we're just going to let that flow across the lip. Perfect. And so at this point, I've only used three tenths, about one third of the syringe, to do this entire half. And you can see. This treated half versus this side, 
little bit better border definition, a little bit smoother. This is gonna look great in another 10 days or so. This will smooth out those fine little lines that we get along the border. And we can also use this, although I don't do a ton of chasing with this product, but we can use it a little bit just to go after some of these fine lines, which will just smooth out over time. I'd rather create a little bit of structure with Restylane and Silk then chase some of the fine lines themselves. But if there are really stubborn ones, sometimes I'll go back across a couple of them. And that's Restylane Silk. So um, with that, if you've got any questions, please contact us at Art of Skin MD and look at more videos. You can contact us at www.artofskinmd or call us at 858-792-7546.